Okay, let's dive into the new features and changes for Windows 11 build 26200.5651 in the dev channel. But watch until the end because this preview introduces a slew of new stuff. Also check the video description for the link to the full article and additional updates. Now in the settings tab we can notice that the search box has now been relocated to the top and center of the application. So it's no longer on the side. As part of the search improvements, let me just switch to my Copilot Plus PC. Microsoft updated the AI agent for the search experience. So now it should be more accurate on giving you answers for settings that you want to change or a problem that you want to solve. If you've never seen this before, you can now type using natural language to find settings and fix different issues on your computer. For example, here I type how to control my PC voice and the AI agent surface the option to turn on voice access as long with some other results. Now, in addition, if we go to the system section and then we go to activation, Microsoft have also updated the activation and expiration dialogs to align with the modern design visuals of Windows 11. Now, as part of this release, Microsoft is also adding an option to export the recall snapshots or screenshots to share with other apps and websites. But this is only available for users in Europe. So if you're in Europe, when you set up Recall for the first time, you will get an export code, which you can use to export your data. So basically you can think of it as a key to decrypt the snapshots so you can take it elsewhere. Now, you cannot recover this code, so you need to keep it safe. Then if you want to use this key to export your data, you have to open the Recall settings, more specifically on privacy and security, and then you need to go to Recall and then Snapshots. And then you need to go to the new advanced settings page. Now, on that page, you will find something like this. And from here, you can export your data. Now, when using the export path snapshots, you will have the option to export the snapshots from the last seven days, 30 days, or you can save all the snapshots. Now, if you turn on this option, you will be able to export the snapshots from this moment forward. Now, it is also important to know that the only way to get another export key is to reset the feature entirely, and that will delete all your current snapshots and settings. And that takes me to the next feature on Windows 11. And that is the ability to reset recall completely with a, th with a single click. So while in the advanced settings page for recall snapshots, you can now click this button to reset everything. Furthermore, now the retention for the snapshots has been lowered to 90 days instead of unlimited, but you can always change the setting right here. Now, when you're setting up Windows Recall for the first time, you might need some help navigating the experience. So what Microsoft is adding is a new way to give you some tips to get started using the application. Microsoft is also updating click to do. And if you are in a organization that uses the Microsoft 365 Copilot subscription, then you will be able to see the new ask Microsoft 365 Copilot option when selecting image or text. And basically when you use this option, it will just take whatever you selected and it's going to send it over to the Microsoft 365 Copilot in this case. Now, if your organization also uses Microsoft Teams, you will now find two additional AI actions when selecting a company email. So you will see the send a message with Teams and a schedule meeting with Teams. So this one will help you to quickly reach out to colleagues using direct message. And this one will help you to schedule a meeting more quickly. Now let's look at the non AI features for this release. And one thing that Microsoft is doing on this release is bringing back the clock with seconds in the notification center. So you can see it right here. And if you want to enable this option, you can do this by going to the settings tab and then more specifically to time and language. And then on date and time, you will find a new show time in notification center. You just need to turn that on and that will show the full clock in the notification center. Now, if we go to file explorer, and then if we right click an item, we're going to notice that Microsoft is adding a divider for each of the top level icons to make it easier to identify. I don't have this option on my installation. However, when you right click a file to share it using OneDrive, you will now notice a share using menu after the copy link button that allows you to share that particular files using different apps, as you can see right here. And finally, if we go to the start menu, when we right click a pin item, we're going to see that Microsoft has restored the options, including move to front, move left and move right. 
And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that we're going to find on Windows 11 build 26200, the 5651 in the dev channel. This preview also includes a few fixes and you can check the video description to find the link to the full article with all the updates for this particular build. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet because that helps a lot to the channel. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.